I think subspecialization, whether it's the foot and the ankle or, or any other part of the body, or I, I think in just about any, any type of field, is important in the sense that you know, when you, you do the same things over and over again, you get really good at it. So <clears throat> that's not to say that someone who doesn't specialize in foot and ankle can't treat foot and ankle problems, but when, so, when someone comes into the office, they want someone who has seen the problem a hundred times and, and not just three or four times. They want someone who's done the operation a hundred times, not someone who's done it you know, three or four times. While all of us <clears throat> in the group have, have chosen to subspecialize in a particular part of the body, we're still trained in the whole body. And we have to take exams every 10 years to recertify basically in treating the whole body. You know, my goal is to, you know, when someone comes in with a foot and ankle problem, is to try and make the foot and ankle better, but at the same time, we're trying to improve that person's quality of life. So if, you know, I find that you know, the person needs a big operation on the foot and ankle to straighten it or, or take care of a problem they have in the foot and ankle, but yet they have a lot of other issues going on that, may not be amenable to any kind of surgery or anything is is doing that big operation and taking all the risks of on the foot and ankle going to make that person's quality of life better and and if it is absolutely we go ahead and do it if not then you know we talk about it uh, and decide if if the risks of doing something big are, are worth the benefits I think the most rewarding I think that's a pretty easy question the, the most rewarding part of the profession is making people better. So, and it's one of the reasons I think a lot of us went into orthopedics because people come in usually with a specific problem and we can do something and make them better. So they come in limping, they come in hurting, and you do a couple of things. You do an operation, you give them an injection, you put them in a brace or something and they can return to doing the things that they want, want to do and they're not having the pain and, and that's a very rewarding thing 